10 News reporter Steve Fiorina continues our team coverage with the mayor's attempts this afternoon to paint himself as a tough boss who's misunderstood. Steve. Kim Mayor Filner has chosen to barricade himself in his office one floor below me here at City Hall. He has uh, spoken to selective news organizations. 10 News is not one of them. This while the list of critics continues to grow and the allegations against him more pointed. This was the scene outside the mayor's office on the 11th floor of City Hall. Reporters and photographers at bay. He has refused to speak with 10 News after a series of Team 10 investigations which exposed some questionable dealings with a developer and ultimately brought to light the allegations of sexual harassment. Though he closed the doors on our cameras, he did talk to KUSI and said his actions with women have been misunderstood. I'm a very demonstrative person. I, uh, I express myself demonstrably. I'm a, I'm a hugger of both men and women. And uh, if, if it turns out that that, it, well, as it turns out that those are taken uh, in an offensive manner, I need to have a greater self-awareness about what I, uh, what I am doing, and we will correct that, and I am taking those steps. He also addressed those claims of sexual harassment. But there is a difference, uh, Steve, between someone who's tough to work for, with, for mm -hmm. and I am. I demand excellence, I want to have a great city, and sexual harassment. Uh, there is a difference there. Political analysts see a man in denial. He's in power and he doesn't want to relinquish it. This crescendo is going to keep beating. The drums are going to keep beating. I think there's a chance he could resign. His colleagues at City Hall are pulling no punches. Those allegations were despicable, awful. Has no place in San Diego. The mayor needs to do the right thing and he needs to step aside. But the mayor isn't completely alone. There are people calling for due process an airing of evidence in court. If he talks to a woman and he feels that he can ask her, well, would you like to go out with me? He has the right to ask. And the woman has the right to say yes or no. And if she's close enough, maybe he'll take a kiss, but perhaps not. I'm not supporting behavior like that. No woman could. But I think that he has a right to defend himself and those allegations in court. Resignation or not, Filner will have a difficult future. Well, he's certainly done realistically, politically, as far as one of the things you have to do to be the mayor of the largest city, you have to be effective. Now, those people in support of Filner were somewhat organized. You may have noticed those protest signs, many of them professionally printed. Now, the uh, two who spoke with us, both doctors have been politically active for years. Live at City Hall, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.